Welcome to another edition of Ball Cross Training. I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on changing the standard drag wheel to the continuous loop wheel. Pretty, pretty simple process. Once you've done it once, you'll find it pretty straightforward the next time. So, if you do buy a machine with the standard drag wheel, I find it the easiest to set when you're setting a loop course up to use use the wheel to your advantage. Reel your line out, create your loop, and then um, just obviously pull your line back in. Once you've set your continuous loop course up, and then you can cut your line off. You've got back to your machine like so. Just pull that to one side. Now, to take the disc off, just remove the the bolt cover, and then on the back of the machine, there's also another cover. So take that off as well, and that relieves the back end of the shaft. So you want the adjustable spanner on that part, and then a 19mm socket on the front bulk. So I'll adjust the spanner to suit. Next process is the aluminium spacer, which goes straight on, like so. And you've got a plain aluminium washer, no logo on, because it's not seen. That goes on next. Then a continuous loop wheel with the rivet side pointing outwards. Um, and the back side of the rivets inwards. Like that. And then another aluminium washer with the important logo on to finish off the nut. So holding the adjustable spanner again, 90mm socket. Be over tight, just you can hold on to this, just see if yeah, you know that's tight enough that it's gonna hold the loop. So you've got your line as well. So again, the blood knot. Create your loop, surround your wheel, and you've got your continuous loop wheel and course. Now, obviously, when you've done for the day and you want to pack all your equipment away, I've found it easiest to to obviously take your loops line off. Put it near where you've done your your join, your blood knot, and get rid of that. This way, you're not wasting any line. Um, you'll come to take your disc off. So, same process, but in reverse.
standard drag wheel back on. join one end of your looped line that you've just undone just join it back on your main reel again famous blood knot I've found it to be the strongest to join two lines together You can connect your machine up and just put the bolt cover back on and the backside cover back on. Connect back up to the battery. Take your remote and set it on the slowest speed. And then Line. I probably would recommend wearing a glove uh, just in case you have got it on a fast setting. Obviously, you don't want to cause any burn when you're just guiding the line back in. But it's the best way I've found to just keep your loop and your line nice and tidy. So, again, thank you for watching and um, stay tuned for more videos soon. Thank you.